Streetheart is no stranger to Berlin and is a ubiquitous sight in certain areas. Fatih Alasalva Roglu is often out and about on the city streets to find inspiration. He founded the Ur Berlin label, which prints urban art on T-shirts. Street art is temporary in nature, which is what makes it great on T-shirts. You can't preserve it because it gets covered with posters and it's illegal. I wanted to create a way of preserving this art on T-shirts. It's nice being able to wear art and the city on your skin. Which is the company's slogan. The designs for these T-shirts are not taken from facades. They're created here in this Berlin studio. Fatih Alasalva Roglu has recruited four artists who used to be active in the graffiti scene. Today, their works are displayed on canvases, gallery walls, and indeed, T-shirts. Stowhead is the street moniker of Christoph Hessler. His work for the Ur Berlin label incorporates all the classic techniques of street art, spontaneous sketches, splashes of paint, and slogans. He later assembles the individual elements on the computer. I like using Indian ink. It's a very thin liquid, so it's a whole different challenge. It drips and splashes and runs, and over the years it's become one of my stylistic trademarks. Roland Brückner is an expert on street art. Seven years ago, he plastered his fictitious figure Linda's ex across Berlin buildings. Today, he's a professional illustrator and graphic designer. He says what was once an underground phenomenon has become completely respectable, even mainstream. A lot of work was done on the street between 2003 and 2005. After two years, the first books and TV reports started coming out. It became really well known. Then it took time for it to be adopted in commercial art, in the worlds of fashion, marketing and advertising. Wearing street art literally on your sleeve, a growing trend in Europe and the USA. Most of the t-shirts are sold online and range in price from 10 to 50 euros. A crucial source of inspiration for the t-shirts is Britain's Banksy, who despite being the world's most famous street artist, has managed to hide his true identity. Berlin is also home to eco-fashion label 500 Gods. All of its t-shirts are designed by artists who still paint and post on the street and printed in very limited editions of no more than 500. The advantage, says the management, is that the T-shirts are also a legal means of promotion. Our T-shirts support street artists by providing them with extra income. Normally they have to spend money on spray cans and are at times breaking the law. We give them a perfectly legal surface to work on and the opportunity to make money with their art. Back at Ur Berlin, Nima One, whose real name is Markus Reichling, is working on a new motif with a classic street technique. He makes his own stencils and then sprays paint over them to create an instantly recognizable image. This design is in the pipeline for the next collection. It's great to see people on the street wearing my work. Walking works of art. Graffiti artists, whose activities are for the most part illegal, say turning graffiti into fashion is a sellout. Protest culture going commercial. I've heard that before, that we've sold out. You get that with every subculture at some point. It is normal for a subculture to get absorbed by the dominant culture. It's not that terrible. Fatih Alasalva Roglu has plans for expansion and wants to put street art on skateboards and bags.